Nigeria swears in ministers, appoints portfolios as President Mohamed Buhari urges them to work speedily. The ministers have been rationalized and reduced to 24. Livelihoods in southern Africa as farmers lament the devastating effect of El Nino. Leaders of the European Union prepare to meet their African counterpart in Malta in an effort to slow the movement of migrants across the Mediterranean. Hello and welcome to Network Africa. I am Adeshewa Josh. It's been a very long wait, but now it's over. President Mohamedou Buhari has finally inaugurated his cabinet and allocated ministries to the ministers, five months after he was sworn in as president. President Buhari's address to the ministers was clear. Serve with speed. After the ministers took their oaths, then the portfolios were read out by the president. Minister of the Government of the Federation, the ministers have been rationalized and reduced to 24. These are the ministries and their ministers. I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Number one, Abu Bakr Malami, son, justice. Two, Geoffrey Onyema, Foreign Affairs, three, Khadija Abubakar Abba Ibrahim, State Minister of Foreign Affairs, four, Brigadier General Mamma, or M.M. Dan Ali, who brought the rear defense, five, Adamu Adamu, Education, six, Professor Anthony Anwuka, State Minister of Education. Seven, Mrs. Kemi Ojoshun, Finance. Eight, Okichuku Eni Lima, Industry, Trade and Investment. Nine, Ms. Aisha Abubakar, State Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment. Ten, Dr. Senator Chris Mwabuzi Ingege, Labor and Employment. Eleven, Berisa James E. Ocholi, State Minister of Labor and Employment. Twelve, Muhammadu Bello, Federal Capital Territory. Thirteen, Abdurrahman Bello Dambazo, Interior. Fourteen, Udoma, Udo, Udoma, Budget and National Planning. Fifteen, Zainab Shamsuna Ahmed, State Minister of Budget and National Planning. Sixteen, Emmanuel Ibe Kachuku, State Minister of Petroleum Resources. Speaking here is the Substantive Minister of Petroleum Resources. 17, 17, Baba Tunde, Pashola, Sun, Power, Work, and Housing. 18, 18, Mustafa Baba Shahuri, State Minister of Power, Works, and Housing. 19, Chief Audu Innocent Augbe, Agriculture, and rural development. 20, Hennekin Lokpobiri, State Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development. 21, Chubike Rotimi Amechi, Transportation. 22, Senator Hadi Srika, State Minister of Aviation. 
23 Isaac Olorunsho Adeole Health, 24 Dr. Osagi Ehanire State Minister Health, 25 Senator Aisha Jumai Al Hassan Women Affairs, Her Excellency. <laughs> 26, Pastor Usaini, Usaini Uguru, Niger Delta. 27, Claudius Omole Daramola, State Minister of Niger Delta. 28, Bersa Adebayo Shitu, Communications. 29, Lai Mohammed, Information. Sati Amina Muhammad Environment. Sati one Ibrahim Usman Jibril, State Minister of Environment. Thirty two Engineer Suleiman Adamu Water Resources. Sati three Bersa Salomon Dalon Youth and Sports. Sati four Kayode. Femi Solid Minerals. 35, Abubakar Bawa Bwari, State Minister of Solid Minerals. 36, Dr. Obonya Onu, Science and Technology. Thank you very much. Well, that's the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria reading out the names of the ministers and their portfolios. I'm now being joined in the studio by China TV political correspondent to help us understand some of the issues that have been raised both on social media and I believe on the street right now and what's going on at the Federal Executive Council. My first question to you is, I mean, the president had indicated several times that some of these ministers will not get portfolios. And that's a 360 degrees change, turn around, from all the indications. Were you shocked? I wasn't shocked when the president said there were going to be ministers without portfolio. I was actually wrapping my head around how that was going to be practical. Because I look at how are you going to appoint a minister and not keep the minister what to do. But this time around, maybe the reason why I'm not so shocked or I'm not so surprised at uh, so seeing that every other minister, the 36 of them, have, uh, we have actually 37 ministers now because he, he's giving himself the Ministry of Petroleum Resources. Mm -hmm. uh, he said that he's going to uh, handle the Ministry of Petroleum Resources. So 37 portfolios that we've seen today. So I was, uh, I'm not shocked, I'm not surprised that we have everybody having one role to play. Uh, but what I'm shocked is a lot of, uh, or surprised, uh, not shocked, right. is uh, what you've seen on the social media is quite different from what played out today. There's a lot of unpredictability That's right. in what um, we've saw today, and uh, which makes it very interesting. For some, I mean, I, I was uh, held, I mean, to my seat, uh, monitoring these and looking at how this was panning out. It, it was somewhat uh, something very interesting to watch. Uh, a lot of people that you think, oh, they'll get it, didn't actually get what a lot of people are, were predicting before now that they were going to get. So it makes it very interesting to watch. I, I see uh, a lot of the power play, a lot of the politicking, a lot of... Uh, uh, the predictions and permutations from mm. Nigerians inside and outside uh, of the government, uh, mm. what they've been saying, it, it didn't actually come out exactly with what we saw today. Now let's talk about the most talked about one, which is uh, the former governor of Lagos State, and he has three portfolios, as uh, also the, um, uh, the former governor of River State. Well, someone argued that actually when you're saying transport and aviation, that's like rail, road, and the likes, in, I mean, the three also in one. That looks like three in one, but let's look at the one that is explicitly three in one. Power, works, and housing. Isn't this too much work for one person? What do you think about that portfolio? I just and pray for him that I, I pray for him to succeed. <laughs> the interesting <laughs> part of it is that you remember, look at the antecedent of some of these ministries. For mm. for example, power ministry. We've seen a situation where we had uh, a former president handle that ministry by himself. Uh, we've seen a situation where a former chief Balaige was called because of his integrity and a whole lot of that. According to that ministry to handle it, we've seen a lot of things, a lot of 
lot of money is being spent in that ministry to mm. fix power. To power seems it. to be the center point of Nigeria's economy. A lot of people have said that, look, if you fix power, you've been able to fix, have, I mean, Averagely, uh, most of, uh, I mean, 50% uh, of some of the problems that is hindering uh, our uh, development. national development and economic development. But having someone uh, like Babatunde Raji Fashola, the former governor of Lagos State, handling uh, Ministry of Power, Works, and Housing, those are in themselves huge work to, uh, to handle. But, well, you know, government work is uh, a little bit of... Um, delegation of responsibility right but in these four years there's going to be a lot of pressure on him in fact more than what he is mm. seeing uh, what he did in eight years mm. I, I would bet with you that what he has on his hands is going to be more than in four years will be more than what he's experienced in the eight years of being the Lagos state government uh governor uh lagos go uh, lagos state is perhaps the biggest state in nigeria and the economy of lagos state is perhaps uh, uh, uh more than uh, some African countries, mm. four African countries put together. Mm. But when we, when you're handling ministries at a federal level in Nigeria, it's a uh, different kettle of fish entirely. Works, we have a big problem, a lot of roads are unfixed. We're talking about the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. We're talking about the, the Niger Bridge. We're talking about the, uh, the issue of infrastructure, I mean, there's a basically. Lot there's there. a lot. Yeah. We have a lot of housing deficit in Nigeria, a lot of the, we're talking about how we can finance mortgage and a whole lot of that. We're talking about power issue. Mm. These are in themselves huge, huge. And a lot of trust is, is, uh, is being put into Babatun de Fashola, mm. and I just want to wish him well. Well, we, I mean, that's what the president said. I wish you all well, and that's a very massive statement. Before I let you go, there's also the issue of uh, uh, Hajia uh, Hassan, who, I mean, at the moment, she is a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The next minute, she might be the governor. We don't know how that is going to pan out if she wins <laughs> and if that is resolved. You're talking about Senator uh, Aisha uh, Al-Hassan. Al-Hassan, yeah. yes. I mean, if that is resolved, then she becomes a governor and then she becomes a minister at the end of the day. How will this pan out? How do you see this pan out? Well, it, it, it's simple. Uh, until the court cases are over. And she said it, that a lot of people have thought that she's getting the ministerial appointment just like uh, a compensation but she said no that she's not going to back off uh pushing her case in court she's won the first phase uh the, go the incumbent governor Dara Shaku, mm -hmm. said she's he's going to push the case they've gone to appeal the case but wait until the apex court gives a final verdict because i know they might just push that case to the supreme court mm -hmm. that's what we've seen that's the trend that we've seen in the past few days but Wait until that happens. When that happens, uh, that's when we know uh, uh, actually whether or not uh, that our journey as a minister will end or not. But if she takes up, I mean, if she wins that case, of course, we know that another person will probably be nominated to take her place if she wins, if mm. she wins uh, that case right. in court and becomes the governor of Taraba State. So we might just see another minister, right? From Taraba State. We, we might just see another Minister of Women Affairs if she wins the case and yeah. becomes a governor. Be some... Or she might just decide not to be a governor and then be a minister. I don't think that. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I have a feeling. Yeah. I know how politicians sometimes uh, think. Right. Uh, I'm not sure she's going to trade being a governor for being, being, a a, uh, uh, being a minister of the Federal Republic. All right, then. Our political affairs correspondent, always a pleasure to have you on the program. Thank Shane Wakimbalui, thank you so much for uh, speaking to us. I know some of you, you would still like to see what the names and the portfolios are, so it's going to be scrolling on your screen. Uh, just take a look at them. Interesting portfolios, interesting people on the list, and uh, the list goes on. Senator Chris Ngige, Labor and Employment, Aldo Ogbe is a Greek and Rural Development, uh, Alaji Mohamed Musa Belo is FCT, and then you can take a good look at it. Let's go to the next page uh, for our viewers. Who are just joining in and tuning in to the program? Those are the ministers of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and their list right there. And then you can go to our website, find their names, find their portfolios, and hold them responsible. Let's take a short break on Network Africa. When we come back, U.S. offers rewards in hunt for six Somalias, Al Shabaab leaders, in a bid to stifle the militants' operations in the region. That's in a moment.